Vanessa, believe it or not, the November election is uh, just under four months away and millions of Americans are getting those text messages from political campaigns asking for support for donations and maybe you're one of them. That's right. The texts can come at all hours of the day. They're <laughs> even being sent to phones on the do not call list. David Wade is in Boston to explain why. Madison Medina won't be able to vote for three years. Still, the 15-year-old's phone has been blowing up with messages from politicians. They want me to vote. They want me to like send money. It's yeah. a lot. They ask me for a lot. Spend two minutes talking to people and you'll realize they are fed up. I'll just delete them. It piles up and it's both sides of the aisle. I think they just want to be your friend. <laughs> there are other ways to do that. A call blocking service called RoboKiller says in 2022, Americans received a record 15 billion political texts, an average of 50 messages for every phone in the country. And 2024 is gearing up to be an even bigger year. So how is this allowed? All right, so what exactly are the rules here? Well, unfortunately, political phone calls and text messages are exempt from the do not call list. However, the FCC says in order to send text messages to your mobile phone, they have to have prior consent. But they don't have to have your consent if the text message is actually typed in by a real person. But they can't send it without your prior consent if they're using auto dial technology. You're right. That is confusing. Especially befuddling. You never gave them consent, right? Are you sure? Cybersecurity expert Peter Tran says somewhere along the line, you almost certainly did. If you've used your number in any type of online ordering or any type of marketing or any type of social media platform, those simple end user agreements may have in fine print that they may also share your phone number with other service providers. And Tran says these texts can be a scam. Never click on any link. I don't know why they keep texting me. Meanwhile, Madison just keeps deleting waiting to tell candidates how she feels when she can finally vote in 2028. David Wade, CBS News, Boston. Okay, so experts say you can unsubscribe from text by replying the word stop. You can also block the number, but if you want to donate, they do suggest going directly to a candidate's party, candidates or party's official website.